Hi, I'm Sue, and I've been a staff chaplain at a Level 1 Trauma Center Philadelphia Hospital for nearly a decade now. And throughout that time, I've been pretty actively involved with our hospital's palliative care team. The palliative care team has grown by leaps and bounds during that time, particularly in the past three to four years in which they've more than doubled their staff. That includes the physicians and the nurse practitioners. Now the palliative care team, fortunately for the pastoral care team, calls on us frequently to assist with end of life decision making and what they call goals of care planning for the patients they serve, many of whom are dealing with a terminal diagnosis. The palliative care team consults us specifically with the hope that we might help individuals in resolving their spiritual distress. We therefore are tasked with essentially helping people who are dying to resolve any lingering life issues, concerns, or anxieties so that they may reconcile these concerns and basically rest in peace when they die. Of course, there's a medical aspect to this because if a person feels he or she has reached a place of peace with everything, then they may be inclined to sign what's referred to as the DNR, DNI orders, or do not resuscitate, do not intubate. But that's a different story. So let's focus on the spiritual side. The whole preoccupation with wanting people to rest in peace, to me, resonates directly with the passing of the peace on Sunday in church. I couldn't help but realize that when a person is confronting his or her own mortality and is exceedingly painfully aware that she or he may only have days or weeks or possibly months remaining in life, that incorporating a version of may the peace of Christ be with you into my pastoral care visits could be the key to assisting the Christian patients in resolving those mortal concerns and in reconciling those lingering worries and in overcoming or conquering their own spiritual distress. And I then determined that the best way to help bring the peace of Christ to individuals and sometimes to their families as well was by incorporating scripture readings into my visits after I felt I had built up a strong rapport with each individual. That is to say that before I began reading scripture with them, I visited with them several times to build trust and for us to get to know one another. I welcome you to this blog I thank you for stopping here, and as you read this blog, you will see how the whole process unfolded. May the peace of Christ 